Hey guys, it's Hannah Saber from HR Images. In today's video, I'll be talking to you about the brand new Samyang 24mm f2.8 lens for Sony e mount system, the autofocus. So stay tuned. I received this lens just over four weeks ago from Samyang Global to test and do my review on. The 24mm comes in the same pouch that the 35mm comes in. Once you open that, so you get the padding pouch, same thing like the 35 The 24mm is a very lightweight, compact lens, just a tad smaller than the, than the 35 it, is not, it only weighs about 9, 93 grams. Uh, minimum focus distance is 0.24 meters and wide angle lens up to 82.1 degrees. Very wide angle, wide lens, very lightweight, great for travel, great for vlogging, uh, great for if you want to do events, large group shots. This is a great lens that will, that's multi-purpose for doing everything. It also has seven elements in seven groups. What I'll do in this video now, I will be going through you in different categories on different parts of the lenses. So first up, I will talk to you about um, autofocus for video um, as well as stills. At the end of the video, I will take um, go through it with you and let you know my opinion and what I found about this lens using it for the past four weeks. So we'll get to the autofocus for stills and then we'll do autofocus for video. All right, in this part of this review, I will be doing uh, more vlogging style with the 24 mm f2.8 lens. A lot of people have been asking me how well does it perform in autofocus for videos, especially mounted on the gimbal. I currently have it mounted on my Zhiyun Crane and uh, just going back and forth, showing you how well the focus is. Um, now, with the motor noise, I don't hear any motor noise when I have used it, but when um, I'm not using any mic or anything, so you will be able to hear if there is any focus noise, any motor noise or anything, like for example the 50mm lens, once you put it onto the camera. What I like about the 24mm, it's a perfect vlogging lens, great for travel, lightweight. Um, you have the sun um, on my right hand side, so you'll be able to get any, like, check out lens flare, the image quality, sorry, the video quality and that. So. This is just to give you a little um, snippet. Now, I'm not a professional videographer. I do more stills than videos. So what I'll do, I'm going to just do little um, uh, little video clips of maybe my daughter running just to show you the tracking and the, the focus. And I'll maybe do some focus pulls and those sort of things just to show you how well the autofocus is and how well it can keep up with uh, for video. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, in this segment, I will be just doing showing you a little snippet of uh, video with the autofocus in continuous. Just going to do like focus pull when you're just going to um, focus more on that subject opposed to and then switch it over to that just to show you the smooth transition and how it locks on. Now using this lens, I have not heard any focus noise. Now I'm not using any mic for this particular test because just so you can hear if there is or isn't and I will know once I put it on the computer as well if there is. Now. This is a major improvement with this other compared to the other Samyang lens in terms of the noise and autofocus. So what we'll do, we'll just test it on the subjects and you just see how we just slowly transition into um, focus. Now my responsive time in focus for this is set on slow. I didn't have it on, uh, on uh, fast because you can do it where you can actually have it instantly switch to the subject very fast or you can do it slow so it can go smoothly which personally I prefer to do it slow and smooth that way you can get some nice transition okay this little segment is now doing video focus in low light so I'll be doing focus pull I will be using my touch 
screen to be able to change the focus in yeah for video so if I get started if in low even in low light the autofocus for video in continuous it's just nice and smooth it's quick no delays no struggling I'm just gonna go silent for a bit so you guys can hear if there's any motor noise Now just doing that alone, I could not hear any motor noise, just, and it's been pitch quiet where I am, and it's no noise. I will put it onto the computer, and we'll go through, through it as well, so you'll be able to hear it more clearly if there is any noise. But as I said previously, the Samyang 24mm is Samyang's fastest and quietest lens that they've done compared to their um, previous autofocus lens. They've really outdone themselves in this lens and it's actually the fastest autofocus lens um, that they've had so far. And I actually thought the 35 millimeter was fast. All right guys, in this uh, video, I will be showing the autofocus for the brand new Samyang 24 millimeter f2.8 lens. We'll be doing it in great lighting conditions and I'll do another one in low light conditions. So, um, you can see, we'll just show how quick and it locks on to the toys. This, the 24 millimeters actually, I personally find is Samyong's fastest autofocus lens. I thought the 35 millimeter was fast. But once I had got my hands on this and I was just blown away on how well the autofocus is for this uh, for this lens. Just locks on, there's no hunting, there's no struggling, it's just instant lock on. And it doesn't miss focus either. So that's this one for the um, great lighting autofocus test and I will do another one for low light. In this uh, segment, I will be doing autofocus in low light. We'll show you how well the performance is in low light. Um, let's get started. It's actually pretty, it's actually really quick in low light. It's, uh, I thought my 35 millimeter was fast, but um, comparing it to 24 mil, the 24 mil is actually a lot faster than the 35 mil, especially in low light. The 35 mil I found does really well in low light, but it is a tad slower in, uh, in, in low light compared to the 24 mil. The 24 mil is very snappy. It's actually with Samyang's fastest autofocus lens that they've uh, created. Look how quick and snappy that is. Just locks on straight into subject. No struggle, no hunting. Now I'll just show you quickly on the eye autofocus and how well it performs. Uh, so as you can see, just it, it gets the eyes with the 24mm f2.8. People ask me, does it work and how well does it do? So this is just an extreme low light and you can see how it just locks onto the eye. With the Samyang 24 f2.8 lens, there is a slight vignette on the edges, the corners of the image, but it can be removed out of post. For me personally, I don't mind the vignetting as I always like to add the vignette on my images as it adds an extra pop to my image. The Samyang 24mm as well does have some lens flare in it but it's, a very, it's very controllable, adds a nice effect to a lot of the images which is something I do, I do like as well. With sharpness, wide open on f2.8, it is sharp in the center. On the corners, you can make out the words clearly, it's just slightly soft, the words are in focus where when you go down to 3.2, the center gets a lot sharper 
And then once you hit to 5.6, the corners gets extremely sharp, making the words a lot more um, sharper than what it was wide open. With chromatic aberration, there is a slight chromatic aberration that you do get when you're um, photographing a subject against, the, against some highlights. But with the chromatic aberration, it's not a major issue as you can always remove it in post. Well, that shows everything about, the, about this lens from the autofocus to sharpness, to vignetting, to um, chromatic aberration, lens flare. I've covered basically everything on this lens. For the price of this lens, retailing at 499 Australian dollars, this lens is a bargain. Very lightweight, very compact, light, wide. They haven't have any full frame uh, 24 millimeter for Sony E mount, where this is probably the first 24 millimeter prime. Besides, Sigma have releasing one, but it's a 1.4, but it's obviously larger being the 1.4. But this is a great compact lens, lightweight, great for travel, great for vlogging, weddings when you want to do group shots, where you want a wide angle lens, but you don't want the distortion of a 40 millimeter. You do have uh, the 24 millimeter with it's control, really well controlled with the distortion. Um, autofocus is their fastest autofocus lens out of all the other previous lens, especially in low light. This lens does not struggle in low light and it does very well. Um, in terms of video, it's smooth focusing. There is a slight motor noise that you do hear if you, ha if you don't have a mic on but it's a massive improvement compared to their predecessor, the other lenses. Every autofocus lens that Samyang has released has been a bigger improvement compared to the last lens. Samyang is really hitting the market very hard and showing every manufacturers out there that they can produce great lenses at affordable prices for the Sony Emon system. This is a lens that I will recommend and to be honest, I actually really did enjoy this lens and I'm looking forward to upcoming lenses from Samyong and what they will produce. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you in deciding whether you get this lens. Um, on uh, Wednesday at 11 a.m. Australia time, I will be doing a live Q&A on Instagram. So do tune in. I will be, that live Instagram will be based strictly on the 24 millimeter f2.8 lenses. So if you have any questions, Join in, ask away, I'll answer them on live. Um, it, please like, share and subscribe to this video and uh, stay tuned for future videos. See you guys.